All right. Hey, YouTube. Okay, I'm here. Basically, what I want to go over is that I've been flexi rotting my hair, and for some reason, it's been getting, like, dry. So, I've been out on the hunt to try to find some kind of leave-in conditioner or something to help my ends stay a little bit more conditioned and healthy. I've co-washed it, and it didn't necessarily help. So, I had to go figure out something else, basically. So I went to the hair store today because today I actually flex rotted with the pink flexi rods and I don't know if you guys know but those are the smaller ones, right? So the curls was kind of tight, but it's like I couldn't even get my fingers through because the hair just was tangling and it was like breaking. It wasn't even tangling. I don't want to say tangling, but I just want to say like breaking off because it was little bitty pieces maybe like this much of hair. And um, I actually went to a salon today and kind of asked them if they had the rust product that Michael Ring had mentioned. They didn't have that, but she was saying that Possibly my ends could just need to be cut, but I'm like that I didn't want to do that. So trying to find some way of restoring them back to the healthy ends that I originally had. But um, I don't know if it's, I haven't put any product on the hair. I just been flexi rotting. I don't know if the flexi rotting is causing it to dry out more, or breaking. So I'm not really gonna flexi rot for the next couple of days. But I did um. At Sally's, I'm going to go over some of the products that I had picked up today and that I had picked up the other day, but I didn't really want to use because I thought it was going to be kind of too heavy, but um, I'm just going to go over them anyway and tell you what I did to kind of get it to, as you can see, it's like very healthy looking, very shiny, and the ends look great. It just looks really, really nice right now, so let me see. It looks pretty good, so... I'm going to go over what I did. Okay, so I want to say three days ago, I had went to Sally's and I got this Hawaiian Silky. It's a 14-in-1. And basically it moisturizes, strengthens, defines curls, softens hair, adds shine, soothes dry scalp, reduces breakage for healthy braids, repairs, chemically damaged hair, non-greasy, no drip, detangles, and increases body. And it's also a thermal protector. So, um, but I didn't really want to use it because I had did a test strip on it and on the other hair and it kind of was, I don't know, I just thought maybe it was a little too oily, so I didn't really want to put it on the hair, but today I was like, I'm going to coat, I went out actually to the beauty supply and I got some, I was looking for some leave-in conditioner, um, I got some of the leave-in, the mixed chicks, little leave-in conditioner samplers, um, I was going to try that, but I also picked up this Cantu, um, Shea Butter, leave-in conditioner repair cream and I heard this pretty good I've been watching a few reviews on it um, I've seen one where a girl was sampling I've only seen really most of people using it on their naturally hair so I'm gonna try to see if that actually works on the hair but what I did I was getting ready to co-wash and I was going to actually use the leave the mix chicks leave-in conditioner so before I did that I figured I should try to do some kind of conditioning to the hair really quickly so I used actually used this Hawaiian silky and I sprayed it through the hair and I combed it through. When it comes out, it comes out like a little foam. Here, let me show you. It comes out like this. And basically, I just use it like this, rub my hands together, and rub this through the hair. I don't really want to use this. But, um, okay, so I did that. But even as I was combing out, like, I'm guessing that the hair was so dry because I got, like, this much hair, which is a lot. Which is a lot. Like, I've never, since I've had the hair, which has almost been a week, so I'm for my weekly up, re, um, update. And... I haven't even gotten that much hair in shedding. So I'm like, the hair must have been like super dry. I really didn't know what else to do with it. But after using this Hawaiian Silky, it's very, very moisture. It's moisturized very, very well. At this point, it's really soft. I can run my fingers through it again. It's kind of, it's still lightweight. Like it's not really heavy or weighed down. Um, I'm probably going to leave this in for a little bit and then still co-wash it and use the mix chicks and then let it dry. But I just figured I'd try to give it some kind of extra moisturizing before I do that and then rinse it out because the ends were just like killing me. I didn't know what else to do with it, about it, but I just want to go back because basically this crap works and it's not too heavy. Like I said, it's not really oily, but it makes it look so good. Like you can't really see. And then quick update. Um, I mem remember I had my leave out. I've since changed my leave out. I did an invisible part. I braided it up, moved my U part over it, and put an invisible part in because I love the way the hair looks wet, and I'm going to wear it wet, and I want it all to be the same texture. I don't want it to be different. But, um, so that's what I did. Also, check me out. Check me out. Look at my holiday bow. Yeah. It's awesome, right? It's a leopard print, which is my favorite, and it has scenty clouds on there. So, um, 
I get them from a lady. I'll post her Facebook down on in the description box if you want to order bows. But she makes bows and bracelets. Check this out. She makes like the Pandora bracelets and stuff. So if you guys want, isn't it cool? Look at that. So if you guys want to um, order something from her, I'll post her, her Facebook down in the description box. So definitely check out. She has some cool stuff on her Facebook. And she has bowls. She makes bowls for like kids as well. So you can get something for your kids and all different kinds of Disney, Justin Bieber, whoever you want. You know, she pretty much can do it. So, peace and love. I'll be back once I co-wash and let this crap dry. Well, not my crap. I love my hair. But, you know, and let it dry and then freaking, hopefully, that fixes my edges. Yay! Am I in? So until later. See you guys later. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop.